Well, as millions of Americans continue to stay home, Facebook COO Sheryl Sandberg has decided to release a free excerpt of her 2017 bestseller, Option B, Facing Adversity, Building Resilience, and Finding Joy. And here to discuss the book's relevance during this pandemic is the one and only Sheryl Sandberg. Sheryl, thanks so much for being with us. And we're actually just learning that Facebook is now announcing some new steps to combat COVID-19-related misinformation that's out there. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, thanks for having me, Amy. And uh, thinking of everyone out there, as we all are during these really troubled times, so making sure that people are getting accurate information on coronavirus has been our top priority since the beginning of this. And so we announced today three things, that we've now directed 2 billion people to official health resources around the world so they can see what's really happening. We have a COVID information center, and we've put in a get the facts portion so that people could see some of the false information that our third-party fact checkers have debunked. And the third thing is that for people who have liked or reacted or maybe commented on information we think it may be false in the past, we're putting notices on top of their newsfeed, which is directing them to official information. We are just doing our part to make sure that everyone gets accurate information yep. on this virus, and which that is, is so important. And that is so helpful yeah. during these times, of course. And you're here to talk about option B. It was originally released back in 2017. Tell us why you're releasing a portion of it for free right now in these times. I wrote option B after I lost my husband, and I turned to my friend Adam Grant, psychologist and professor, and asked him, how much resilience do I have? Am I going to make it? And he said, that's the wrong question. Resilience is a muscle and we build it. And the book option B is about how we build resilience in ourselves and others through life's challenges. And this is the most challenging time for everyone, certainly in our lifetimes, I hope, I hope forever. But people are facing real loss. We lost someone in my family, it's been super sad. People are facing the risk of death, sick family members, huge economic challenges. And option B is how we build resilience. So we're releasing part of it um, to try to help. And we wrote an intro about the sec that you know, situation we face right now. Yeah, and I know, Cheryl, obviously option B is such a personal story for you with your husband's loss. And a lot of people are out there trying to figure out how they can help, help loved ones or even themselves while grieving someone uh, that they've lost to coronavirus. What helped you most while you were grieving? What helped me most was what psychologists call the three Ps, remembering that there are three traps that we have to make sure we don't get in so that we can recover. Personalization, don't blame yourself. So many people I've heard from are saying, I feel lonely, I'm not doing enough, feeling bad about themselves in this situation. Self-compassion, don't blame yourself. Two is pervasiveness. You know, one of the things that Adam said to me when I lost Dave, my husband, is he said one day, it could be worse. I said, what do you mean it could be worse? My husband just died suddenly. He said, your husband could have had that cardiac arrhythmia driving your children. Mm. And in that moment, I thought, oh my God, my kids are alive, I'm fine. Even in our family, we face death, there's so much good. My fiance, Tom, and I look at each other and we know we're healthy. Even in the hardest of situations, you can find a way to find something that you're still grateful for, or even think about the things that could be worse and that gratitude is so important. And then permanence. When you're going through something hard, there's a loss or a situation like this, it feels like it's going to go on forever. And right now, it feels to all of us that way because no one knows where the end is in sight. But it won't. It won't. We know there will be a vaccine. We know there will be treatment. We know society will reopen. Remembering to not fall into those traps, yeah, no, I think is the most helpful thing. The three Ps, those are really powerful. I'll, I'll put a fourth P onto that. And mm -hmm. I know that you've also started the Option B There campaign. I love this. Tell me a little bit more about it. Well, this is about kicking the elephant out of the room. When really hard things happen, people are afraid to talk about them. You know, when my husband died, I walked into a room and no one would speak. People who have cancer, I watch it in the office, people don't know what to say. This is a time to kick that mm. elephant out of the room and be there for people. We have um, virtual cards you can send. You know, I know this sucks, but we're going through it together. We can't be together, but we're in this together making sure that even the hardest situations people face, saying to someone, I know you have this virus, are you scared? Do you wanna talk about it rather than saying nothing? 
Yep. Being there for each other is about really addressing the concerns openly. Thank you for helping us with these free excerpts of Plan B. We certainly appreciate you and your time, Cheryl Sandberg. Thanks. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.